The outward signs of aging are not just a result of what is happening on the surface. The aging process affects all four layers of the face, bone, muscle, volume, and skin. And these four layers combine to reveal what we see on the outside. Let's first look at the upper face. At the deepest layer, loss of bone, particularly around the eyes, means less support for the overlying skin volume. The result is deeper circles around the eyes and temples, producing a more hollow appearance. With time, the constant activity of facial muscles over the bone contribute to line formation from repeated expression. Crow's feet, frown lines and forehead lines become etched in skin over time as permanent wrinkles. Loss of muscle elasticity and descent of the soft tissue of the forehead contributes to the descent of the brow. Moving to the mid-face. With aging, loss of volume becomes more apparent. The cheekbones start to lose projection, becoming less defined, and together with the descent of cheek fat pads, more soft tissue volume is pushed downward. This leads to a hallmark sign of volume redistribution in the mid-face, the formation of nasolabial folds. These run from the nose to the mouth, where underlying ligaments stop the facial volume from moving further. Decreased muscle elasticity means less support for fat pads that sit under the eyes, and these also begin to bulge. Muscles of the mid-face involved with repeated facial expressions contribute to the appearance of fine lines around the mouth. These are called accordion lines and are accentuated even further by facial volume loss. In the lower face, loss of bone in the upper jaw reduces support to the lips and mouth. As with the other thirds of the face, soft tissue volume is also lost in fat pads, particularly around the mouth and in the lips. This combined with repeated muscle action over time, such as pursing of lips, causes lines created to become permanent and gain prominence. Loss of bone along the junction of the lower face and neck leads to a loss of jawline definition. When combined with decreased muscle elasticity and the descent of the overlying volume, this leads to the appearance of jowls. Repeated muscle action around the mouth causes the corners of the mouth to turn downward and repeated muscle action in the chin leads to dimpling of the chin. In all facial areas, Environmental factors contribute to the aging of the skin. Sun damage and smoking leads to pigmentation and loss of tone and texture. Intrinsic factors such as a decrease in fibrous proteins, elastin and naturally occurring complex sugars decrease skin elasticity.